Um, you know that feeling when the weather is bad, but not really all that bad, and you think, should I go to the basement? A tornado touched down tonight in our area, and you could argue that it wasn't that powerful until you see the damage to two local schools. Tim told us about it on radar, and tonight we take you to the scene with Brad Underwood. The tornado came through the Lynchburg area around 4 this afternoon. The National Weather Service says that the tornado was on the ground for about four miles. In that four-mile path is the Lynchburg Clay High School. A school has been out since last week, but there were students inside the high school when the tornado touched down. Tonight, the superintendent says everyone is safe. From Pete Willie's backyard, you can see the path of destruction. Kind of went through and then curved back through the woods there. You can see the, the opening. That you used to not be able to see through those woods at all. Willie says he was at work in Batavia when the storm blew through, but at home, his wife and son. I tried to close the door and it was like would not let me close. I finally got it closed and locked it and then I took the little one to the bathroom and hid for a little while to let pass through. The National Weather Service was in Lynchburg and has confirmed an EF0 tornado touched down. The damage is pretty consistent. Bent over light poles and trees snapped in half. Even the batting cages and bleachers at Lynchburg High School are bent. There were cars in the parking lot here that were damaged as a result. Uh, we had debris and trees down uh, basically just uh, west of the school here, uh, all the way to Gibbler Road, uh, which is about three to four miles east of this location. When the storm came through, 40 to 45 students were inside the high school for sports camp. We had, uh, had enough supervision to get the kids in places where they needed to be. Uh, I'm sure it was very frightening uh, anytime we were in a storm like that, but uh, like I said, I'm very, very thankful that none of the kids were hurt. No injuries have been reported to people, just property damage. Pete Willie says that tonight his home will have a tarp on the roof, and it's the same portion of roof that was damaged back in 2008 when the winds from Hurricane Ike came through the area. So for the second time in six years, he's got to replace his roof. In Lynchburg, Ohio, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And Tim saw some more strong storms today. He 